click that like and subscribe button and go sign up on superchargestocks.com and let's keep you notified. Good morning, everyone. Today, uh, it's wonderful to catch up with uh, Globe X Data. We, we call it secure on the show all the time, but we've got the president and CEO, Alan Gia, and it's always wonderful catching up with you. There's a lot that's, that's going on and it's ex exciting. Um, I don't want to steal any of your thunder, but the stock's being reflected in, in this, in what's happening. It's being recognized for what's happening. And there's a ton of good things that you can uh, remind us about and what's what's coming. Yes, thanks, Andrew. Uh, you never steal my thunder. You improve our thunder. Because <laughs> you have such a great way to kind of capture what we do at Globex. So thanks for everyone for watching. So one big thing, obviously, we just announced the final closing of our private placement. Um, and you know, you know that you do a good private placement when you do it at 33 cents and the stock is in the 40s. And that means people are happy about the situation. So the mm -hmm. private placement uh, was with about 100 subscribers. We have uh, high net worth individuals from all over the world. We have some funds, it's a mini institution. I wouldn't call them big institution, but you know, some fund management companies. And in total, we got 6.3 million Canadian dollars at today's rate, 5 million US. It was 33 cent with a half warrant at 60. Now, with that closing, we have now 9.4 million Canadian dollars, 7.46 uh, million US. That's a big treasure chest. That's a great balance sheet. And it will definitely help us continue what we've been doing. So um, what we've done starting mid-July, we've been testing marketing with several a uh, couple of media companies uh, we're very happy with the result and now we're going to take it another gear we're going to kick it another gear with different things so first we did announce our deal with newsmax we're going to have 80 commercials a month uh, that's going to be big uh, starting yeah. september 7 i think um we signed a six month deal so you know hopefully we'll do more than that uh, we have our own show I mean, I don't know if people can realize what it means. Yes. Your own show on national TV and streaming and OTT is called the secure segment, which is privacy and security. And that's unreal. Um, yeah. I mean, you can only imagine if you had your own show on television that goes on streaming media yeah. about privacy and security. It's great for the brand. And we help people, right? We educate them about, hey, this was a hack of the week. And, you yes. know, if you don't want that to happen, you should do this. Um, we also have uh, other things happening. So we did the subway ads in New York that are continuing. Yep. We have NTD.com, uh, which is a huge media company. We have three ads a day, seven days a week. That's already continuing until July next year. We had 116 ads spread over five channels in the US. That's starting September, we're going to focus only on Fox Business News and CNBC. These are 30 second ads about the company and the product. Also, obviously people discovered that it's a publicly traded company. They see the ticker, so they discover what we do, what we're about, and they may even invest in it, right? Because yes. privacy is huge. Um, and then now with, with Newsmax, it's gonna take it to another level. What we're gonna do as well for the product marketing is we're gonna hire a couple of companies that we're discussing with, they use artificial intelligence to find the right audience that does, you know, they, they watch YouTube, they do podcasts, and then you put your ad in there. Yes. They're looking for privacy or security or whatever. So that's a big thing. And we're also going to do the run of the mill search engine optimization. All these layers are going to take a few months to come one after another. But the result is that by the end of 2022, we strongly feel that you know we're going to reach profitability. What we have done so far is great. I'm very happy about the investment uh, that we have as well, the money that we have in bank. 9.4 yeah. 9 million is not a small change for a company of our size. Like right? yes. we're trading at a market cap of 42 million, uh, actually less than that. But let's say for, for once we issue these stocks, we'll have a 45, 50 million market cap 
with 9 million in the bank. Okay. So it's already, uh, you know, people can put two and two together in their head and yes. figure, is this worth 50 cents higher or lower? You know, let people decide. And we have yes. sales every day. Sales. Yes. And it's, it's that's, that's, I just re reiterate is they can see in a lot of tech companies is that ability to scale. This is that. So it's yes. taking that money and saying, how can we, how can we, you know, exponentially grow the money that investors have given us so we can, you know, make this market cap grow. You, this is a perfect example of a scalable company. Um, and it's just a matter of, like you said, getting eyes on it, a bit of comfort with it, which so many people are already there. You know, a lot of people see what's happening out there in the news. Every day there's a hack. There's, they're talking about data and your information being taken and this and that. That a lot of the work's already done is free advertising. <laughs> it's That's just tying it. the two together to see there's a solution. These guys and you're 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 making great connections out there in the U.S. especially. And in the U.S., you also have the urgency about the privacy and the security. Um, yes, I should mention talk about profit. So people think we need millions of users or hundreds of thousands. Mm. This is a paid product, so you don't get a million people just like that. And we don't ask for people's phone numbers. You can just, you know, text all Monetize your contacts that. Yeah. and all yes. that. So like yeah, WhatsApp, yeah. but that's how you get hacked, right? So if we didn't do any advertising of consequence, we would be profitable with 5,000 people, which <laughs> yeah. we're going to reach in a reasonable amount of time. Let's just say that. If we continue spending the way we do, uh, so advertising on TV, plus SEO, plus Target Digital, all of that, we would be profitable with about 25,000 people. Nice. You know, 25,000 users in a country where you have 150 million working people yeah. and you have 30 million small businesses, it's not an unachievable task, especially no. <laughs> when you get over close to nine and a half million dollars in the bank. Yeah. Right? So... I think people need to really think about that. Mm -hmm. the, the missing piece, people say, well, you advertise, you need a lot of money. We have a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> you do have a lot of money. We do. <laughs> and it's not like we're going to just burn it, but no. we're going to make good use of it. Yes. We know our client acquisition costs. Yes. And, you know, we're going to be very careful. With, we're always very careful with our cash. Uh, if you look at our financials, Go ahead and take a look at Q2 that came out. Yeah, we we don't have. I think there was twelve thousand dollar of consulting fee, which was our CFO, yep. who half the time puts most of his money into private placement. He <laughs> believes so much in the company. Yes. I think he's got. You know, if you include warrants and everything, he's got you know close to two million shares in the company that he's waiting a few years from now to retire on. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but basically, I don't take a salary. I don't take a consulting yes. fee. If you look look at the line items and you will not see that line item. That's yep. critical. we got it's R and total... marketing as the biggest expense. Yes. And, and it shows that uh, not only when you mentioned before, when you're attracting people who use the product and then they want to buy, they're like, Oh, I need to buy this. That, that goes across the board. Like that's how yeah. you're finding everyone that works with you. They're like, I need to buy this. I need to get into this because they get it. And that's the, that's kind of like the Holy grail is you've got something where I love the product. I get it. This, I see it's scalable. This is this is huge. I can see where it can go. A lot of times, people don't. They can't see where a technology goes. No. Go, okay, maybe it goes this, and and you make money by selling data. Where do you make the money? And then this, and it's kind of pie in the sky. This is no. We know we just have to. We don't even need a big number for no, this to be a, a big business and, and a, a margin, cash flow, like the free cash flow. Are very big too. So yes. it's really simple what we do. We provide you a private and secure email messaging. Soon we're going to have voice and video conferencing as well. We never data mine you or don't use a big tech platform. And we have our own proprietary technology. So, and we host everything in Switzerland for privacy in yeah. our own servers. The, the thing is, aside from the US, now next year you're going to see Latin America that's going to contribute to the top line and bottom line of the company. And then most likely South Asia, as we sign a telco deal in, in Sri Lanka, is still very early because we're still fine tuning integration, this and that. It's a slow process. Um, but Latin America is going to start this year. And then next year, every month, every quarter is going to contribute to our top and bottom line on top of the US. So 
we're getting a lot of attention from other countries as well. And now people are contacting us. So the US is our prime directive, obviously, yeah. but we have Latin America that will add on top. So it's, it's a thing that keeps growing and our expenses are going to be fairly fixed, right? We're yeah. actually spending, um, I think we're going to spend uh, the equivalent of, in terms of retail cost of server, close to one and a half million dollars. We're not going to spend that because we've got a discount, uh, which is confidential. But basically, it's, uh, it's still a lot of money for servers. Yeah. Once we install all those by the end of the year, hopefully, we can have millions of people on the system. And we, it's going to make everything much faster as well. Yeah. And we use the latest of the latest. So we're pretty excited. We are gearing up for that big push. Yes. Right? So, so it, the scale is not an issue. You know, people say, if you have a million people today, can you do it? Yes, yeah. just bring me the million people. We'll yeah. figure, we have <laughs> enough capacity anyway. But, but you know, that's, you don't get a million people right away. So, no. you know, this is kind of like it grows in logic. But yes. the scalability is not an issue. No. And, um, and we're adding a couple of people. We just installed a support system as well on secure.com. We just added another person. So we, we, we do, you know, these are like the little fine tuning you need to do. In terms of an investment, I would say if anybody is interested in the company, always have a medium long term outlook. This is not a stock you buy today and you sell in two months. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in two months. No. I have no idea. Yeah. I look at year by year. So end of 2022, I have an idea of what's going to happen. And at that time we assess and we can project what will happen the year after. Yes. And I was going to throw this in as well, because, you know, we talk a lot about like Davos and the World Economic Forum. They're doing a ton of free heavy promo for you as well in a weird way, because one of their key factors they're saying in, in the next three, four, five years moving forward is cybersecurity. It's one that's, of their top. true. They've got food shortage. They 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 nailed yeah. COVID. They said there was going to be a pandemic, yeah. and cybersecurity is one of their main top three ones. And they said, "Watch out! This That's is it. it's, and it's already happening." But watch it's out! Already happening. Yeah. yeah. Long term, I believe we're really going to go more in the U.S. Our our long term goal is to be listed uh, in the Nasdaq exchange. Excellent. So, this is what we're working towards. One of the reasons why we advertise a lot in the U.S. is also to get the brand out there. That's yep. where the market is anyway. It and is, that's yep. also where the market for cybersecurity investment is the most. That's where you get the biggest value uh, given to your company because the valuations are obviously higher in the U.S. For sure. Just really appreciate you catching us up, up to speed and sharing with us all the news. And like I said, we can't even post as much, but all the work you've done for this adoption to get it to where it's going. And, uh, you know, I, I imagine there's there's going to be lots of news to see in the, in the next coming weeks and months, uh, whatnot. But also, when's the start date again of the show? So Sunday. I hear from September 7. Okay. I will be rude and look at my phone because it starts on a Sunday. So every Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Newsmax or Newsmax TV, East Coast, you can watch live streaming. If you miss it, you go to Newsmax TV YouTube, and then you can scroll back on Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern, every weekend. However, the ads that we're starting on top, the 80 commercials a month that will be right around the Wall Street Wrap, the morning news, the Greg Kelly show and things like that. Cool. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> it's going to be pretty, pretty good. That is supposed to start September 7th. Okay. So right after Labor Day, we go full blast. Perfect. That's it. Excellent. Well, there's, there's the urgency for people. You already saw the stock. It's moving. You've got the dates, you know, and this thing's going to hit the, the U.S. market and they're going to start seeing this. And we know how, you know, we know how the US, work, U.S. works. They're going to have an appetite for it. I'm certain. Well, thank you, Alan. Really appreciate you catching us with the speed. Exciting times. We look forward to hearing more. Thank you, Andrew. And thanks uh, for watching us.